guys, this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Well, today I've got another 12 weeks of Fall and Halloween project for you for 2021. This week is week number two, and I decided to do a fall project this week and another 3D one. This one focuses on the Pretty Pumpkins bundle and the Pretty Pillow Box dies. Now, the Pretty Pillow Box dies I just got. I got them today, and I also got this beautiful Blackberry Beauty uh, Designer Series paper and this beautiful gold shimmer ribbon. Those just came in the mail today. And I'm like, oh, I've got to get this used right now. So this is what I came up with. I want to show you a different way to use the pillow box. It makes a really neat pillow box. I'll have to make one of those in the future and show you how to do them the uh, way they intend. But I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and make something different. So if you would like to stamp with me, just uh, look down the video description and find the blog post link, click on that, and then you'll find all of the dimensions that you need and the supply list so you get everything put together. If you don't have some of the things in the supply list and would like to purchase them and live in the United States and do not have a demonstrator of your own, you can click on my online store link below and place an order and get the supplies together so you can make this. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first off, let's show you the bundle. This is the Pretty Pumpkins bundle. It comes with the stamp set and the dies. If you purchase them together as a bundle, you save 10%. And this is gonna be one of my online classes the last half of September. And if you'd like to know about my current online class, which is the Penguin Place bundle, then you can click on the online class link below in my video description, find out about that, and see the list on the future classes I'm getting ready to have. And then we've also got the uh, Pretty Pillow Box dies. These are so neat. Now the dies I'm gonna be using is this big one here, of course. And I'm gonna use this one here and this one here. So those are all the dies we're gonna need from that. And I forgot to get the dies out of this one. I'm only using this one. And we're gonna use this leaf die here. So those are all the dies we need. And let's go ahead and we've got one thing to stamp. So we'll get that stamped and then do the die cutting. Okay, what we need to do to stamp is just grab the piece of very vanilla that's two and a half inches by two inches and a Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And I'm using So Thankful For You, and this is a greeting that's in the Pretty Pumpkin stamp set. This time I'm not gonna use any of the pumpkin stamps, but I'll be using the dies. So we're gonna stamp this near the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, because it's gonna be die cut. Is that font pretty? I really like that a lot, so cool. Okay, we're gonna put this here and let's go ahead and get the die cutting machine out and get the die cutting done. Okay, now we're ready to die cut. We wanna put the base platform down, the die plate and a standard cutting plate. And then you need two of this four and a half by six inch piece of cinnamon cider. I'm just gonna die cut one this time. I've already die cut one ahead of time so you don't have to sit and watch me do two of these. But this fits perfectly. Right there, you'll be able to get two pieces of this out of one piece of cardstock. And then you need to put another standard cutting plate on top. Let's move this out just a little bit. We'll run this through. And it cuts very easily. I only needed to go through it once. The few, few times I've cut used it today. So we've got this one. I'll put this over the side. I've got another one right here. So those are ready to go. Okay, we're gonna use this one more time. We're using a piece of the Blackberry Beauty DSP. Isn't this gorgeous? I love that gold on there. And this side is nice too, but I really like that gold side. We're gonna bring this in and I'm going to line these valleys right here, the bottom valleys, with the bottom edge of the designer series paper. And you wanna make sure that these sides here are within the parameters of the paper. You don't wanna get this lined up and then one of these be hanging over. Okay, I think I've got it. Kind of at an angle. Yes, that looks good. I had to move move a little bit so I could see it. I'll run this through. And you'll be doing this twice. I'm only gonna do it the one time. Get some papers out of here. So that made it, so I had nice little curves here. Now there is gonna be one little thing I have to cut off and I'll show you that here in a minute. We've got a couple more things to die cut. We'll get those done. And then we can put this die cutting machine away. Let's get this moved back over. Okay, we wanna grab the pumpkin die and the leaf die. And let's go ahead and grab this die here too. So we'll need our gold. Um, this is from the rose, gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper. This one is a two and a half by two and it's the gold version. 
And then I've got a little scrap. This is actually one inch by one inch square of the rose gold metallic paper that's in the same pack. And I'm gonna put this larger leaf right here. And then we're gonna grab this greeting. And I was so excited when I put this on, it's like this one is made for it. See how that little swish in the U goes right here in the little dip? I thought that was so cool. So I'm gonna get that centered. Let's grab the standard cutting plate and put it on top. Nice and easy so nothing moves. Oops, it looks like that leaf moved, didn't it? Just noticed it was hanging over. So I'll put that back on. There we go. Run these through. And I love that all of these dies that I'm using with the label that was in the pillow box. And didn't that look, I just love how that turned out. And then we've got this neat leaf right here. And then we've got our pumpkin. This is a pretty cool pumpkin, I think. I'm gonna get these little strips out of here. And they come out relatively easy. There we go. So we've got this pumpkin here. Get all of these out of here. And we've got one more thing to do with the die cutting machine. I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and put this back over here at the side and get this straightened up. Now I am picking up both of these pillow boxes pieces and stacking them up so they are totally lined up here. Put this here. Now we need to grab this one right here that has the two holes and lay that right there in the center. It lines up pretty easy in those little scallops. Then you take the standard cutting plate again and run this through. And it's actually going to go through both of them. I'm going to make it go through twice real quick. I was real excited when they both came out with no problem. There we go. I don't think I would do the pillow box, two pillow boxes at the same time, because then you're not going to get the scoring lines that you need. But to do those um, holes works out fine. So now we're all done with the die cutting machine. We'll get this out of the way and we'll finish making this cute little pillow box. Okay, it's going to be really hard to see this, I'm afraid, but th there is a score line. So I got this near the bottom. It kind of moved on me just a little bit. So I'm just going to trim it because I can see a little bit of a score line down here. So it's easy to fix that if you don't get it totally lined up. I had a feeling I had it off just a little bit. But up here, there is a score line that goes right across here. I'm really not sure if you can see that. I'll kind of move it around. So I'm just going to cut this off, just cut right along that score line. And this is going to make it fit perfectly on my pillow box. Okay, so I've already done that with this one. So we have two of these. And what we're going to do, I'm going to grab, I think it's a little easier to use the multi-purpose glue on this project. Because when you line these up while the glue is still wet, you can still uh, move it around a little bit. It has a little bit of give. Once it takes hold, it's not going to move. But while it's wet and hasn't soaked into the cardstock yet, you can move it around a little bit. So we're going to grab this one. And it's going to line up perfectly since we die cut it with the die. And get that lined up. I think I got that pretty good. Okay, so we've got that one ready to go. Do the same thing with this one. Put the glue around the perimeter. There we go. I thought it was about out of glue there for a second. That stuff always seems to happen in videos, but it looks like I have plenty. Okay, so we're going to grab this one and put it on this top section. This cinnamon cider looks so good with this paper. I love it. That's actually the color of the leaves in this. I think that Blackberry Bliss in the background, too, it just looks so pretty. I don't know if I've put cinnamon cider with the Blackberry Bliss, but I definitely will from here on out. I really like that. Okay, so we've got these ready to go. Let's go ahead and put these together now. What I learned the first time I did this, I put um, glue all around here. And then when I went to put this one on, I had glue sticking out of this little guy here. So this is the trick with this. Have one side with the DSP up and one side with it down. Then just put a little bit of glue right here in this little curve down here. And I just went ahead and put some across there too. And then we're gonna do it on this side on this one. 
The trick is to make sure that one of them has a DSP facing up and one is, has a facing down. Because we're going to turn this one around. Let me stand up here. And we're going to line it up. And the nice thing with the glue, I can move this around till it's ready. I can tell that it's all lined up here on the sides. This is right up against my score line here. Push it down. Okay. And now we can fold this. I'm going to use my bone folder. Okay, here's my bone folder. And we'll go ahead and do this here. And we'll do this one right here. And if the paper starts to come up a little bit, the bone folder will press it back down again and it's fine. So now we've got that ready to go. These, there's a score line across here, have it go back. So you can actually fold it down. Now this one I'm not going to worry about doing um, a, my bone folder because it doesn't need to be a crisp fold on this part. Okay, so we've got that down. That's just going to help it when we put it together like so. Okay, now before we put it together like that, I'm going to have this one be my front. Here is the pumpkin and our greeting and our little leaf right here. Now the trick with this leaf, I'm going to have it, I like these little notches because what it does, you can just put it right around the stem of the pumpkin. Isn't that cool? So what I'm going to do, I know this right side is going to be attached. So I'm going to grab my glue dots and that little top hump gets a glue dot. And that's actually the only glue dot I used. I'm going to put this right in here and now it's attached. Okay, so we've got that ready to go. Let's go ahead and put some uh, black dimensionals on it. I'm going to use the small ones. And I'm going to put one right here where the uh, leaf and the pumpkin overlap. So that's going to hold the, the leaf on back from back here too. It gives a little more reinforcement. Put some here. Okay, and I think we just put one on each end. That one just fits on this end. This end's a little wider, so it's not so bad. Okay, then I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool. Oops, this is falling out. Take the paper backing off. Okay, oops, one of them fell off. Okay, now before I put this on, I'm going to put this up here, okay? top right corner. So I'm going to take my glue again. You can also use seal, of course. Let's see if I can get this going again. There we go. Just go right around here and then put it in the top right corner of my front like so. Hold it down till it's attached really well. And then we can put this right here and I'm going to kind of angle it a little bit and I almost left it just like that but then I thought it really needs a little something so I grabbed the Simply Elegant trim that's in the annual catalog it comes with gold and silver in the one pack this is a nine inch piece of the gold I'm going to tie it into a bow made it longer than I really needed it to but sometimes it's easier to have it longer than what you need when you're tying and sometimes I will just tie it directly when it's still on the um, spool and that way I can um, I don't use as much that actually I'm not gonna be cutting off too much so I'm just playing around with it till it looks good I'm holding on to the knot and bringing these down and that's gonna make them go closer to the direction I want them to Now I'm gonna grab my glue dots this one's still not wanting to cooperate but it will once I get it on there and I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of the knot of the bow. As you're going, if, I don't know if you can see this, but the glue dot is bigger than my knot. So what I'm going to do is pull this up and squeeze the glue dot and keep folding it down until I don't see it from the front. It's going to make it even a smaller mini, dot, uh, mini glue dot. And I'm going to put it right here on the stem of my pumpkin. I thought it needed a little something. I thought that looked good. Now. If you want to keep them long like that, you definitely can. I am keeping them longer. And I'll probably just cut a little bit off of that one. There we go. But I just thought that bow set it off. 
really nice. Okay, now there are so many different things you can put in this. I had to go with what I had on hand. All I had were these two dentine fire gum things and that can fit right inside. Now if you can uh, do just one or two, two works great. And I'm going to grab a piece of this gold shimmer ribbon that's 15 inches long. I'm going to close this. Okay. And I'm going to put, actually, what we can do is easier if you start from the back one and pull both through both ends through both uh, holes, like so. If you have trouble with it, then you can cut the ribbon angles, ribbon ends at an angle. I want to make sure that's straight there. It's not twisted, and it's not. Kind of pull this a little bit so they're about the same length. Then actually, I can put these in afterward. I forgot I did test that out. Then we're going to put this one right here. It's a little easier to thread the ribbon when you don't have your candy or whatever gift in there yet. And then we'll bring this through. There we go. Bring these tight. Okay because I do know I want these together really tight and we're just going to tie a bow. So let me lay this, see if I can lay it flat so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little hard to make it so you can see. <laughs> there we go. Get my bow this way. I always make them perpendicular after I make that single knot in the bottom one I loop and then I bring the top one around my finger, thread it through the hole and there we go. And just play around with it till it looks good. The trick is getting your tails to go down the way you want so you just keep playing with them and then tighten it up. Now that bow is looking a little bigger than I want it to so I'm going to bring them down a little bit, tighten them up again. That looks pretty good and try to get this one to go down. So when you've got it where you like it then you can trim off the ends at an angle. Once again I'm going to keep them a little bit longer. There we go. And now I can go ahead and slide these inside. They'll go right in. And if you can think of any, if you make one of these and you come up with something else to put in there, just comment below and let me know. I want some new ideas with this. This is all I had on hand and I haven't been to the store to see if I can find something else. But see, you can see how those fit pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed this week's 12 Weeks of Fall and Halloween. I'll be back again next Friday around th between 3 and 4 p.m. with a new video. And if you would like to stamp along with me because I do other videos throughout the week, just uh, subscribe to my channel below. And when you subscribe, click on that bell icon and select all. That way YouTube will notify you every time I uh, upload a video. And if you live in the United States and do not have a demonstrator of your own, I would love to be yours. Uh, if you need a catalog and uh, you don't have a demo, then I've got the annual catalog, the mini catalog, and the celebration brochure. The celebration is when you get free stuff with qualifying orders, either $50 order or $100 order. It's every increment in your order, and you can pick something free out of the celebration brochure. So if you live in the U.S. without a demonstrator, just click that contact me link below, and I'll get your first catalogs mailed out to you. Okay, well, I once again, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me bring this in so you can see it again. I really had a lot of fun doing this, and that paper is gorgeous. So I hope to see you again throughout the week, definitely next week for my, ne my next 12 weeks of Fall and Halloween. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.